Hey, it's Cole here if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the long run where we are playing Lunar Silver Star Harmony. Last time, well, we may have just slightly, you know, lost Luna. And um, things are not looking great. But uh, at the very least, we have gained the Dragon Wings that let us go to pretty much any town that we've already been to. Also, hey, Jewel. Uh, let me just get the thing here. No, that's not the right thing. When you have 703 windows open, sometimes it's hard to find the one that you're looking for. Oh, what's happening? 50 bits. Stole these rocks from Jewel. Please don't steal the rocks from Jewel. That's rude. But, uh. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. We are, we are minus one Luna, but, uh. Hopefully, we can, um. get things back into gear and go save Luna. Um. So where do we want to go? We want to go talk to Mel, because uh, he might want to know about what's going on. Oh dear. What is going on here? Alex, we made it to Moribia, but where did all these monsters come from? What's happening here? What the? Where did you come from? What kind of magic was that? Jessica, what's going on? What does it look like? Get in here and help me out! Ah, just getting directly into it. What is up here? Um, I think this is just a mini boss, despite the music. Uh, so let's just, uh, tactics. Betrayal of the highest degree. Hey, is that a diamond on your shirt? Hey, let me praise that for you. <laughs> so, by the way, that that. You know, the fact that we had two part we had two healers in the party for a minute. Yeah, we all we're only gonna have the one healer now. Thanks! You guys yanked my buns out of the fire. What happened here, Jessica? I went to grab something at the shrine, and when I returned that the entire city had been overrun. I can't believe how fast the beasts attacked. Where are Luna and Galleon? Are they okay? Hmm. Galleon has turned into the Magic Emperor. He commanded these beasts to attack Moribia. What? That's not all, Jessica. He enslaved the White Dragon and kidnapped Luna. This is... Can't even comprehend it. How could something so terrible have happened? Wait, I think I understand. Galleon sent these demons here to, to, to distract us from his real target. My father... Alex, we have to help him. He must be in the man in the mansion, fighting single-handedly against Galleon's evil evil hordes. You heard her, Alex. Let's hurry. Not even Mel could uh, could hold off these maniacal fiends forever. That's just kind of locking us into the path here. Need five healers and twelve tanks, no DPS. Not sure what you're doing, what you're trying to do with five healers and twelve tanks, other than like, I don't know, try to run a raid like 
60 levels early. And even then, like, I feel if they don't got an enraged timer, victory will happen eventually. <laughs> That's why enraged timers exist. Um, you know what? I should probably tag the statue just for good measure. It's not a bad idea. What is this guy flickering about? It's st still a nice thing about this game, like even the healers can properly kick ass. I mean, maybe if they were to focus their efforts, we'd be able to, to kill individual units a lot faster, but I mean, things are still going to die. I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of avoiding fights here. Come to think of it, is this the right way? I don't think it is. Wait, where did... what? Where is Alex? He's there, it's just... This is so weird. Why, ha why has he vanished? Okay. It's fine, everyone. He's okay. He's not okay. He's dead. Alright, um... Oh, this is one enemy. I think what I'm gonna do is um, just try to keep Jessica alive and hopefully Nal will be able to pick up Alex uh, sooner rather than later. There we go. So you're going to do Zephyr Blade and you're going to calm with me. Just bleeding a little. Just slightly. Alright. Hopefully this takes care of these guys. I mean, with that kind of damage. 
Probably, yeah. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this was not the correct path in the first place. These things are a little ruined right now, so I was just trying to find some direction to go. And, um, well, I didn't go so well. You let me. Yeah, he is gonna need another one of those. Alpina, oh, lend me your car keys. I need to do a run. Should be good now. Can't you use heals out of battle? I can. I just didn't think to do that. Because you see, I am a Dorcas of the variety Malorcus. I didn't want to go in the house, now it's going to respawn the dude. Get out of there. Okay. Okay, so I think I got to go through this little plaza here in order to, uh, to go off to the uh, east. These guys are a bit spongy, and uh, that's not a good thing because, like, I am looking ahead a little bit here, and uh, our next boss has a recommended level of 18, which is where we are now. And like I said, these these enemies are taking a beating, so this might be a rough boss, is what I'm what I'm saying here. Also, these enemies again. But uh, at least the moment that we get out of battle, I'm going to be able to use the statue and uh, get back to full health before we move on to the east. This ain't great. Ow. Okay, one of them down. And another one down, another one down, another one bites the dust. Okay, heal up. And let's go to the east rather than the west. I mean, generally you want your healer to have a high speed stat. Well, either, either the highest or the lowest. No half measures. Mmm.
There's also a fair amount of luck involved, I find. But yeah, like, whether you want the healer to have higher or lower speed kind of depends on the kind of game. Like with Legend of the Gaia, for instance, um, it was very patterny, especially with bosses. So it was definitely to your advantage to have the healer, like, go later in a lot of cases. Which, um, yeah, the, the convenient thing to do in that case is to have Gala be your healer, because he's always going to be the slowest one unless you just start, like, stacking uh, agility on him. Can let the healer have, like, five turns. I mean, that would also help, but uh, generally the game isn't that generous. One more hit on this guy to uh, do it. There we In the combat arena, finding the leader of the Vile Tribe. Oh boy. Combat arena should be up here. And before we go in, let's heal up. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh neat, return with me. And it's not something that I want to uh, to cast right now, but it's interesting that I can cast it in town. Maybe I can only cast it in this town right now because it's under attack. But anyway. Zenobia. As long as I draw breath, the Vile Tribe will never take control of Meruvia. Not a problem, old man. You'll be, elim you'll be eliminated by Zenobia, leader of the Vile Tribe. And all the citizens of Meruvia will kneel before the Magic Emperor. Galleon, what's going on? Who in the hell are you? Father! Jessica, no! This is too dangerous. You must hide inside. But, <laughs> this is wonderful. Now I can erase all of you with one swift blow. Look out, Jessica! Arrgh! Oh dear. Dad? Dad? Alex, take care of my daughter. What an emotional moment that was. I almost cried. I was laughing so hard. Now the last of the four heroes is powerless, and nothing can prevent Galleon from fulfilling our destiny. Galleon. Zenobia, where has Galleon taken Luna? <laughs> well, little Alex, you'll find that what you'll find that out soon enough. Perhaps when we meet again. Wait, Zenobia!
Dad? Dad? Dad! In the name of Althina, let this curse be gone! He was blazed and made him a stoner. It's not working. Don't think the spell can be lifted unless the one who, who casts it is killed. Her name is Zenobia. She was the one who impersonated Lemia Alsa. That witch Zenobia and that freak galleon. I'll never forgive them. I will save my father, even if he, even if it costs me my own life. I will never give up, and I will never cry. I am Jessica de Alkirk, daughter of Helmel. Alex, Nal, let's go. Where are we going, Jessica? We are going to right the wrongs committed this day. Galleon will pay dealer dearly. We need more information on Galleon and the vile, the vile tribe. Let's speak with Lemia Alsa, the leader of the Magic Guild. I'd like to get some advice from her daughter as well. Well, get to see Mia again. That's great, Alex. You guys aren't nervous? Uh, I mean, you guys aren't nervous. <laughs> Me either. Let's head for Vane. I love you, Dad. Man, things are uh, really going downhill, aren't they? Off to Vane we go. Fortunately, this doesn't seem like a site of chaos, like, uh... Or maybe it is. D -d do you see that? Oh, goodness. Maybe I should have saved. This is where I meant to save. Impossible. My effect don't- my effect doesn't have- uh, my magic doesn't have any effect on it at all. Damn. We can't let this monstrosity destroy Vane. Come on, Nash, we can do this. How can we how can we do it alone? Mia, Nash, are you okay? Alex, no, Jessica. First the Vile Tribe violates my hometown, and now Mia's. This is it, Alex. No more Miss Nice Girl. I'm gonna fight these creeps with everything I've got. You can't be an adventurer with two living parents. Oh dear. All right. Um. So now it is time for boss time, Mr. Guy. Um. Doesn't close do anything? Maybe I want to wait until I find out what this guy is capable of. Uh, unfortunately, um, Jessica doesn't have a buff like Luna did, so... But she does have Iris Sledge. And uh, Mia has this. So I'm gonna have Mia do Endow Shield on both Alex and Jessica. And we'll go from there. Now that didn't do a whole lot of damage, now did it? Let's see what this does. Wham! Of course, upping Alex's defense doesn't really matter if this uh, Grand Doom guy is uh, going to attack everyone else. Uh, let's go ahead and Zephyr Blade. Um... And just keep doing that. Uh, your going to attack, I think. 
And you're going to endow a shield on Jessica. Wow, ah, that did no damage. <laughs> yes, phone. I did forget to uh, turn vibe off. There we go. Sorry about that. We vibing, indeed. It's always good when your party is nice and dodgy. Let's start sword dancing. Let's see if this does anything. It probably doesn't. Also, I'm going to set you to auto. Fortify with barrier. All allies. I guess I should have actually opened with that. It kind of made kind of made that look like it was Grand Doom doing that. Also, I just noticed that the boss is glowing. That's probably not a good thing. Hopefully this mist barrier helps. But the correct move here was probably just defend everyone. Mini Doom. That did crap all damage. What what the hell? Alright, well, that's okay. Um, you know what? You just do whatever. Uh, you can do freeze list. Unfortunately, there, uh, it was out of uh, attack range for both of those units. Wow. Like, I I get the feeling maybe Mist Barrier was absolutely co the correct move because, like, the boss is doing nothing right now. Oh, wait. Hang on. The boss is glowing. I don't like that. I feel like this boss is, is a little, uh, kind of meh. So that's the, the Blobbo attack. Um, I guess let's just keep doing what we're doing. Crit for zero. I love it. Thank you. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a little more painful. sword dance. Uh, you're going to riot. You're going to heal Nash. And do we have an angel tear? Or angel tear? No. Starlight. Yes.
Keep on sword dancing and writing. Uh, you can do whatever and you can do freeze burst. There we go. That wasn't so hard. Especially considering that, like, two of the big attacks did literally no damage. And 1200 experience points gained, but we're still hungry. Hogs levels up. And that's it. Thank you, all of you. While I could have handled that monster by myself, your assistance was helpful. I think that's as close as Nash has ever come to saying thank you. Jessica, when I was on Black Rose Street, I heard about your father. Is it true? Yes, he was protecting me from Zenobia's magic. Jessica, I... That means what, we, what That means what I heard about Galleon, the magic emperor. What he did to Quark? It's all true, and he kidnapped Luna too. This is madness. Galleon was one of the four heroes. Now he's become. Mia, I'm gonna find Zenobia. Then I'm gonna finish her. Then I'm gonna help Alex fight the Magic Emperor. Fight Galleon? Now that is madness. You'll be killed. I know that it's gonna be a challenge, Mia. That's why I'm here. To find out what I can about Galleon before we set out to kill him. Did you notice anything strange about Galleon at the Magic Guild? No, I'm afraid not. But I'm sure my mother could, could tell us what she observed. Why don't we ask her together? Good idea. Let's go. I can't believe that Galleon was in fact the Magic Emperor. It's... it's overwhelming. This is all like a nightmare. Yes, it does seem to be such, but this is all too real, I'm afraid. Poor Mel. What will, we, what will we do to save him? First things first, Mia. There will be no rescuing Mel until we put a stop to the Vile Tribe. We have to think of a plan. I just wish my head were clearer right now. I was so stupid, Mia. I was so blind to the truth. Galleon would send me across the land to gather information about singers and the dragons. I would report all I learned to him or to Royce or to both of them on a few occasions. I believed that I had the most important job in the Magic Guild, Mia. I was so proud. Ash. My mother's magical powers are gone and her, condi her physical condition is only getting worse. Galleon tried to destroy my mother, Alex, and he might still succeed. He... he's... He's insane, Mia. What he did to, to your mom and my dad? It's unforgivable. You're right, Mia. Your mom might still die. Die. Unless we find Galleon and kill him first. You can't just stay here and do nothing, Mia. You have to come with us and fight with us. I... I know. My magical powers are lost, perhaps forever, and Mel has been immobilized. If Galleon is indeed hoping to take over the world, no one can stop him now. Only a Dragon Master would have the strength to match Galleon's, but it doesn't matter. Now that the White Dragon is gone, the new Dragon Master will never be born. Yes, there's only one person who can make it happen. Only one. I mean, if the entire point is to find the dragons and complete their trials, but it's no longer possible to complete the white dragon's trial, but only the white dragon's trial, there's still hope. Okay, so we have to keep talking to everyone. If defeating Galleon is the only way to save my mother and my people, then my duty is clear. 
Alex, please take me with you. Let me fight by your side. Mia, you can't do this. Your mother is gravely ill and the magic guild is in chaos. Which is exactly why I'm going, Nash. Because I can save both of them if I slay Yalian. You're really doing this, Mia? You're really gonna challenge Galleon? Yes, Nash, I am. Mia. I'm coming with you, Mia. What? Nash, you shouldn't. You can't. Some of the blame for what happened to the White Dragon and to Luna lies with me. But I can try to make amends for what I did, Mia. I can make you. Uh, I can help you rescue Luna. I can make you rescue Luna. <laughs> Crap, am I saying? I can try to earn your forgiveness. That's all I want, Mia. That's all. <laughs> Stay this humble and you'll earn my forgiveness in a hurry. Nash. The Vile Tribe won't so much as touch you with me at your side, Mia. I promise. I swear. Thank you, Nash. But I don't want you to treat me like the future Guildmaster. You'll earn my forgiveness if you treat me as a friend. As a trusted friend. Mia, I... I... I need your friendship to keep me strong, Nash. I need you to be there for me. Oh, Mia, I... I'm speechless. You're blushing, Nash. Still your tongue, cat. I'm just happy to, bring, to have been granted a second chance. Vile tribe worships Mr. Vile from Banjo-Kazoo. <laughs> Vile tribe of cake and cookies. So, like, are we going to eat them? Is that what you're saying? Let me must know something about where to find the rest of the dragons. I, su I suggest we speak to her and find out. And there we go. We have a full party now. Alex, you must heed my words. There's only one person that can stand against Galleon, and that is the mighty Dragon Master. Alex, you were the last person to pass Quark's trial, and you are now the only person with the potential to pass the remaining trials. Luna's lost to you, Alex. Our very world is lost, unless you can become the Dragon Master. The next dragon you seek out is the, you should seek out is the Red Dragon. I had once been told that it lives within the volcano due south of Nanza, but that was long ago. I don't know how reliable the story is, Alex, but at least you have somewhere to start. South of Nanza? Sounds like we need to have a chat with Kyle. I look into your eyes, Alex, and I remember the day when I set out on my own great adventure. Dine, Mel, Galleon, and I were so completely different. We had such magnificent times. I'm sure you've already had such wonderful adventures, Alex. And I know you'll have many more. They eat worms because that's a vile style. I see. Okay, um... Valtra, maker of the Master Ball and the Slap Chop. What is going on in chat? I don't understand. Okay, um... So you heard the people. We gotta go to Nanza. Uh, where is the thing? Dragon wings. Wait, angel ring? Okay, yeah. The ring and healing ring. Actually, let's check everyone's equipment. I, we probably should have the healing ring on someone, and namely the healer. Kind of feel bad about not having an accessory for Mia at the moment, but uh... that's just kind of how it is, I think. Right, uh, let's go to Nenza. 
I swear that these items are kind of shuffling around every time I go back into this screen. It's rather annoying. Uh, there's a barrier. You're here looking for a left-handed... How many times do I need to tell you? Shoes... Shoes don't go on the hands. What is happening? Alex, someone just screamed. What's going on over there? Ha <laughs> ha Hello, fools. Don't make a move or I'll rip her to shreds. Zenobia, we found her. Get out of my way, Alex. I'm gonna kill that overinflated bimbo right here and now. Damn. Words. Come on, Jessica. You know she'd kill that poor girl in a heartbeat. Don't let your emotions overrule your common sense. So what do we do now? So, this girl is the beautiful songstress of, repu of repute. I never quite understand the way, these human the way these humans think, but it is of little circumstance. Do as Galleon has commanded and take this girl away. What the? No, help! Hey, what's happening? Catch her! Move, you, you ignorant beasts! Ew, no, don't touch me, you vile creatures! You... Where is the voice track? There we go. Oh, I think this is not the correct, um, this is not the correct audio at all. I think. <laughs> that was weird. I don't know what that was, but anyway, here is Kyle. Apparently he was, um... Dressing up for some reason. Oh yeah! I make this look good! Huh? Jess? What are you doing here? Wait, you got kicked out of the shrine again, didn't you? Why you? <laughs> That's okay. I'll listen to your story once I take care of these petty monsters. Don't underestimate the vile tribe. Kill them all! Oh my, whatever shall I do? This is the absolute worst. Um, I am all by my lonesome, my, my lonesome having to deal with this, these four nasty beasts and their nasty sides. What could I possibly do to beat everyone? There we go. <laughs> hey, Alex. Well, th thanks for thanks for coming by. Even if you're lurking, that's still uh, still nice of you to be here. <laughs> and crib stealing bits out of everyone's pockets, because of course. <laughs> you got another hundred years of serious training before you'll, you'll be able to dance with me in battle. Well, Zenobia, looks like it's just a strong and gorgeous against the painfully ugly. Why are you in the vital tribe king kidnapping songstresses, Zenobia? <laughs> you couldn't begin to fathom the real reason, brat. And I have far more important tasks than to explain our plans to you. Zenobia, wait! Damn it! Damn it all! Give us back Luna! Damn curvaceous magic-using wench! 
Excuse my ignorance, Jess, but what the hell is going on around here? That that witch turned my dad to stone when he tried to protect me from her magic. She did that to Mel? How could she how could anyone have that much power? Because Galleon is the magic emperor and he's backing the Vile Tribe. And he's the one who kidnapped Luna. Luna? Who's that? She's a friend of Alex and all, and they're friends of mine. She's a songstress, just like the others kidnapped by the Vile Tribe. But we still haven't figured out what their purpose is in taking them. We've been searching the mag uh, for the Magic Emperor, and that's what brought us here. Kyle, since I know you have nothing better to do than imbibe uh, more than is healthy, you're going to join us and help us defeat Galleon. Take on the Magic Emperor, huh? Yeah, what the hell? When do we leave? All right, Jess, I'll help you save your dad. And not just because he might even stop busting my chops, but because I know how much he means to you. Kyle. Just imagine how many groupies I'm going to have after I do this and become a hero. The lovely ladies will be drooling at my feet. Hey, what's wrong, Jessica? I just feel stupid because I actually admired you for a few seconds. Alex, I want to help you too. This magic emperor needs a serious beating. Kyle, do you know anything about the Red Dragon Cave? I heard rumors about a dragon inside a cave near the south end of the Marius region. That's all we need to know. Lead the way, Kyle. We can get there by heading through the barrier south gate. Now it's time to set off and make myself into a sex symbol, I mean hero. This is going to be an interesting trip. So, now our party is complete, I guess. Uh, let's see. So now there are a couple of things that become available to us. So let's go deal with that, at least part of that. We don't have quite the money to Get, get, to get everything, but if we go back to Meridia, the sa the, that south gate totally ain't be blocked. I mean, the, the south gate was blocked by order of Kyle, and so Kyle just has to give the order to not block it. But anyway, if we go to Ramus's shop, Hey Alex, how are you doing? You must be really close to becoming a Dragon Master. Can I ask you a favor? After you rescue Luna, let's go back to Berg. Wait, how do you know that Luna's missing? I don't think we told you yet. I'd like to see my dad again. Oh, that reminds me, I got some sweet new items in stock, so why don't you take a look, Alex? Um, so yeah, there's this thing, the Reminiscer. Um... So there is a slight bug in the game, because we can buy all three of these bromides right now. But if we do that, the shop closes whether or not we bought the Reminiscer. Unless we resell one of the bromides, it's weird. It, I think it's probably a bug. But um, yeah, we have three bromides here. And the Reminiscer basically lets us replay cutscenes. So any cutscene in the game, we get to uh, watch again. Um, we're going to be saving up for the Reminiscer. This can be bought for the majority of the rest of the game up until like shortly before the point of no return. 65,000 silver YouTube. More or less. Except that it's a YouTube that specifically replays experiences from your own life. Oh that? It's kind of like a wanted poster. And always, it's always good to know what your competitors look like. Probably talking about 
the bromides. Um, so yeah, mainly I just want to show that we'll be back once we have the money to buy everything here. Let's go back to Nanza Barrier. Also, a lot has happened, so probably not a bad idea to save. All the bad memories and decisions. Wait until you see what we do with the soap. <laughs> Interesting. That was a big old party we have. And I just told everyone to defend. God damn it. Attempt to beat up some wildlife, by which I mean defend against some wildlife, which is going to be not particularly effective if they're just gonna put us asleep. Okay, let's do what I meant to do. Oh, is this gonna attack all four of us? Oh, yes. No, actually not four, but three is still good. Hey, J-Pop. Might use Dream Eater next turn. What is this, Pokemon? Bam! Love that double kill. And Jessica levels up. Oh yes, J-Pop, meet our, uh, our party for the rest of the game. There are monsters, Japanese language could be... We're not fighting, like, we're not using the monsters to fight, so this is not Pokemon. Oh boy. Yeah, we've heard that too, and that's where we're going. They're usually hot springs. Well, Jessica, you might have that opportunity. Maybe we are seeking the legendary dragons. We might fight we might find some other things along the way. Oh yeah. Wait, it was legendary bird. God damn it, this ain't, this ain't Pokemon. Thank you. What are you talking about, J-Pop? This is not Yu-Gi-Oh! We're not using cards to attack. Use Exodia? Uh, I don't know Yu-Gi-Oh ter terminology. Oh my. I mean, I'm pretty sure that Kyle does it for... Yeah, watching you charm women and rip off men as they made me feel so sick. I mean, that does seem like a better tardy, yeah? 
When I grow up, I'm gonna steal money and be really rich like him. <laughs> I mean, probably, yeah. South Tamarius. Well, at least the at least the children always also get through free, but like, oh boy, let's go this way first, because there might be treasures. I mean, there is a blue dragon, but you know the point remains. This ain't you, you know, because like. There aren't cards, so it ain't you. <laughs> also, I might have to to set my default um, my default tactic to um, make Kyle just attack normally because he seems to be in love with his uh, with his uh, abilities as well. But for now, let's just do the everyone attack. And the man in the back said, everyone attack in a darn two bombs. And there's a box with a silver light. Uh, what does the silver light do? Have you seen one of those? There it is. Completely restores HP or MP, yes. And another one of these red chests. Hopefully, we'll be able to deal with those sooner rather than later. Some virtual city Kaiba made where you don't need battle armband thingy and monsters are brought to life. Also, yeah, the uh, the map music has uh oh jeez, that just kind of snaps, does it? Let's see. So yes, we want to go to Reza. Fair enough. Uh, so we want to go. Oh. We want to go to where the the cutscene trigger is. Welcome to Reza. Not exactly the wealthiest town in the Marys region, but a great place to learn about the latest news and gossip. And the beer is absolutely divine. Hey. Excuse me. No, are you all right? Well, the inhabitants of Reza certainly aren't rude. And see why Kyle fits in so nicely here. Hey, no. Did that guy bump into you? Yes? Wait! The white dragon wings are gone! Well, you just learned the only real downer to this place. It's a den of thieves. There's so many of them, they've even formed a guild. Watch your valuables. This place can get a little rough. Hey Kyle, perhaps you could have warned us before Nolan got robbed? Rez is a big town. If we're gonna find those wings, we better start looking now. I know you heard me, a selectively deaf weasel. Damn. Uh, let's immediately dip into this bar here, which the guys seem to be heading toward. I don't see that thief anywhere, but I know he ran in here. Let's talk to the barkeep and find out where he went. And stay calm. Just stay calm. Hey Alex, doesn't the old man at the counter look kinda familiar? Hey, it's Laika. 
Hello, Alex. I wouldn't have expected to see you in a place like this. There are a lot of thieves in Reza. Make sure to keep a firm grip on your possessions. Too late. You've already been robbed? Good luck finding the culprit! <laughs> Damn. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> Grim continues to steal rocks from everyone who pops into chat. Well, here's another person who just popped into chat. I have to check. I need to know, was the cat thing robbed? Yes, the flying cat was robbed. Yes, thank you for the bits, uh, Grim slash J-pop. I look forward to the bits from Grim slash Terry. Well, that's another songstress that's been, um, has been kidnapped. How do you pickpocket someone who doesn't have pockets? I mean, I, I feel like you're about to find out, unless you have pockets, in which case, well, not anymore. There it is. Matt <laughs> 20, I gave Lord Tyrion pockets and robbed them. All right then. But if wait, if you gave Lord Tyrion pockets, then how are there fifty bits in the pockets? You would have had to put them there. I am on to your game, Grim. But seriously, thank you for the two hundred bits so far. And then, and then zero. <laughs> oh, I love this. Thank you for the bits, zero. Thank you for Grimm's bits. Actually, is this uh, the story trigger? Ah, uh, yeah, it is. From behind Zero's ear, all the rocks. Thank you for even more bits. Wish I could, friend, but I'm not here to tell tales and swill. Someone stole a valuable item from a member of my group, and I'm here to get it back. That's a shame, Kyle, but complaining about the green Reza just isn't gonna get you very far, if you know what I mean. Actually, I was hoping that you could help us get it back. You're an influential guy around here. Isn't there anything you can do? Well, this must be important if you're trying to use flattery. <laughs> there is a way to get your, island, your item back. Members of the guild aren't allowed to steal from other members. If one of you joins the guild, whoever stole your item will have to give it back to you. Not as easy as I'd hope, but I guess we really don't have a choice. So how do I join the guild? Your thieving skills will have to be tested by one of the guild elite. He can be found working in Marriott this week. <laughs> J-Pop found some pockets on the ground. <laughs> but apparently those pockets contained five bits. Which I believe were the five bits you were holding out on me last time. <laughs> but seriously, thank you for the five bits. Finding him is also part of the test. You know how to get to Marriott, right? Just walk along the coast of the Inland Sea until you reach it. Marriott? That's practically in the Stadius region. Are we strong enough to go that far? Hey, you, you guys can stay here if you want. I'm, all, I'm the only one who has the pass to test. As long as you all don't mind being labeled wimps for life, I'm fine with it. I think you mean Final Fantasy XIV, not Final Fantasy IV. But, um, there's a chance I might do a stream on Friday, which would probably include the Fall Guys event, if so. 
But uh, that's still kind of up in the air because like there's a lot of people that uh, I follow that stream on Friday, but also that would be a no mic stream. So I'd be able to like stream while watching other people stream like I was doing last time. Oh, I gave away the secret. Um, don't like the letter X, he hangs out with zero. I get it. Let's see. Um, I wonder if there's a shop here actually. There probably is. This looks like a shop. There's a samurai blade, there's a flail, a couple of infernal staves. Um, yeah, you need the infernal staff. You also need the infernal staff. And, uh, wait a second. Wait, what's your item? The flail, okay. My bad. I thought that it was the infernal staff. I'm confused. Also, bastard sword, perfect for Kyle. You get it? Because he's a... never mind. <laughs> God damn it, Grim. Why are you stealing... Why are you stealing bits from my own pocket? Of course, due to Twitch logic, those are now bits that I have accumulated on top of what I... I think what we what just happened is that we paradoxed 50 bits out of nowhere, and now I have them. So there's a non-zero possibility that I end up destroying the universe. Because of Grim. But thank you. It's not like this universe is going anywhere good. Then let's equip some stuff. Naturally, I forgot what I just bought. Because my memory is the best. And by the best, I mean absolutely not the best. It's the worst. Hmm. I gain a point of defense but lose a point of resist. You now, what? Whatever. And you get the sorcerer robe. Because he's a sword. Clearly, this all is going in someone's pocket. Nasty little pot pocket, sis. My precious. Um. I miss the armory and the thieves' guild. Yeah, as it turns out, Jewel, I can do voices. Oh, geez. Uh, thank you for the five gift subs, and as soon as those come through all the way, I'll be able to actually list off who they're going to. Okay, and here we have some items. 
I think we'll only ever really need to carry one warp wing because like um, we have the escape litany so most of the time we're just gonna be able to use that unless Jessica runs out of MP. Uh, so Abdelgaten 25, X-Glass, Geary's, Bot Botnitz, and one of ones, I guess. Anubis, maybe. I don't know any of these names, but uh, you all got subs, I guess. I mean, get better stock and I'll spend more. <laughs> oh, jeez. And then Jewel went and clipped that. Because of course she did. Because she's a dork. Hey Grim, I think I think you belong in this place. Stealing people's lunch money and bits and giving them to me. But anyway. So before we go to Marriott, we're gonna take a little detour. Cause you see there's a magical place called Althena Spring. This is the spring of the goddess Alpina. It, if you enter its soothing waters, you can purify your soul. Do you wish to enter? Yes, my body odor is getting to me, or no, this, old, this underwear is only a week old. <laughs> yes, let's get washed up. As you must know, springs, are, uh, springs where the two sexes bathe together are not permitted. In light of that, it is now necessary for me to inform you that this is a spring for males only. Your female companions may wait over there, or seek out the springs designated for them. By the way, I'm not showing the scene. It ain't so bad. In fact, it's better than it was in the PlayStation version, now that I'm looking at it. Well now, I'm certain you must feel refreshed. Your skin is absolutely radiant. I want my pockets back. Um, I might post that to YouTube once I have all of the cutscenes, because as this person stated, there is another, um, another spring where uh, the women can bathe. And so once I have all of the cutscenes, I'll be um, posting them to somewhere else. Probably as like an unlisted video on YouTube. Pornhub? I don't think it's... Uh... You know what though? I have like... This is not something that I've seen for myself. But I have seen, I have like, seen some stories about people actually posting Let's Plays to Pornhub. And not necessarily just pornographic games. I mean, there's definitely a place where you don't have to worry about censorship. Basically just don't be, don't be terrible and um you'll be able to pretty much post whatever. Anyway, Marriott Forest. Um, okay. Also, is there anything interesting in any chests here? It looks like no. The, there are two chests in this area, and both of them contain 2,000 silver, which yeah, will still be 
will still be a good thing. My ears are flapping? What are you talking about? When you entered the map, the flying guy was, was inside of you? Oh my. We probably should not be allowing guys inside of us. That doesn't seem like the best idea. Orange YouTube, where VTubes test new mob. What's Orange YouTube? And Nashville is up. And learn Spark Ball. Also, yeah, I need to set tactic. I might play around with the tactics some more um, later on. Like maybe maybe during break I can play around with like making tactics or something. Because like something that I'm probably going to want to do is um, is farm money to get the uh, the reminiscer. I'm trying to remember the name because uh, Kulia's remaking tactics, not not Final Fantasy tactics. We're preparing some tactics info as we speak. If you want to see someone play Final Fantasy Tactics, uh, go check out J-Pop. He's going to be streaming that, I think, on Mondays, except you might also be doing it like tomorrow, just as like a premiere week, I is my understanding. Um, don't let me put words in your mouth here. Okay, so you are doing it tomorrow, but it's generally going to be a Monday stream. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be there tomorrow, but... Uh... <laughs> First realistic tactics. God damn it. Uh, Seri. S-E-R-I. But thank you for asking. Because, uh, like I said, I'm probably a, a chance that I'm not going to be there tomorrow. Money! Yeah, I was trying to, to remember the the name of the item, because it's called Reminiscer here, but in the uh, PlayStation version it's called the Rememberizer, I believe, which is a very strange name. Not a good crowd today, I like it. Um, okay, so I think that's the only chest on this screen. And there's gonna be another chest on the next screen. Uh, with another 2,000 monies. Hydration achieved! Let me set this to start fighting here and I can stretch. Oi, big ol' stramch. <sighs> I'm 
have to kind of be careful too, because uh, I think I have tendonitis in my uh, right shoulder. Oh my goodness. I think I needed that stretch more than I thought. Ah, you know what else we need? Some healing for Alex. And Jessica should be smart enough to actually do that. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, I live in an apartment, Jewel. I don't think I'm going to be to have to pay for a new fridge. I'm not buying new chairs every other month. Like, I'm sorry, the chair sucks. You have to deal with it for four hours a week. I have to deal with it always. I need a safe. I mean, if you're gonna keep stealing uh, bits from, uh, from everyone's pockets, why are you paying taxes? You're paying taxes in Germany, Jewel. Unfortunately, I can't access, you know, any sort of public service in Germany because I'm in Canada. <laughs> Not with that. Act. God damn it. Just chaos gremlins out there, all he is. Alex's crew does. Um, I don't know that they're really. Are there any taxes on Lunar? Because I have not seen anyone charge any taxes. I haven't seen anyone charge any taxes in any RPG, really. That's that's how it's so unrealistic. No one pays taxes. RPGs, there is a hero tax. How do you figure? I mean, is is that what, what's happening when uh, when we uh, defeat enemies? We're not only killing them, but we're taxing them too. And that that's why we have to kill the bosses because they're committing tax evasion. <laughs> Anyway, Alex levels up. And immediately we fall into another battle. Chest in someone's house, hero attacks. And, oh, gotcha, okay. I see what you're saying. Let's do full auto for this because this doesn't seem particularly pleasant. Witcher 3 is the most crazy example of hero attacks you've seen. I haven't seen a whole lot of uh, the Witcher games, honestly. And the the venom everywhere is not great. Or one and two were kind of ass, but didn't. Thank you, Nal. In games where the heroes clearly known to the world, they should be showered with stuff by the people. Like I'm here saving all of you, pay up. Wait, you're you're saving us from what exactly? Hopefully you're not saving everyone from me, because I don't think I'm doing anything wrong.
your rich thanks to Grim Payback. Saving you from... <laughs> I am saving you from me, now pay me. Ah, so Zero, you're saving us from the nebulous future, got it. Curse bomb? Well... F Thank you. you know what could really save me from crappy Windows updates? Installing Linux. And it's not to say that I don't have Linux installed, it's just not in a place where I can really use it as a daily driver. And I really gotta work on that. I, I hope to, uh, to get some work on that during Desert Bus. I'm gonna have an entire week to do it, so... I had to completely wipe your drive yesterday because Windows is still... I have definitely had that happen. I, I feel you there, Jewel. I remember having to reinstall Windows just before a Super Shovel. That was not great. Thing is, I determined what the problem was, and it was either a bad storage driver or an overzealous defrag program. And I have neither of those things installed at this point. Jessica levels up. And Kyle levels up. Love the fact that Kyle has two attacks. We need the heavy hitters. Well, we're gonna get double attacked, aren't we? Unless I can actually remember to be running a right as soon as we end up uh, out of combat. Which, y'all know that I'm not gonna remember that. And try to install an Android game, which usually isn't an issue. I mean, my Windows is fine right now, except for one specific Windows update that um, doesn't want to install correctly for some reason, so my computer is constantly reminding me that I need to reboot. But fortunately I have Windows Pro, so it doesn't reboot automatically all the time. Thank you. I realize that um, getting Windows Pro just means that I'm going to be paying even more money to Microsoft when I probably don't really need to. Also, I remembered to run this time, but um, it does provide some nice features that make it stop complaining at me quite so much. Anyway, we're at Myriad. Computer said, hey, we're updating, so let's restart, yeah? That's why I have Windows Pro. So this is Marriott. This is amazing, Alex. They built a city entirely of wooden planks suspended over the water. Actually, their real amazing part is that these hicks managed to nail anything not related to them. I'm sorry, what? But anyway, let's get cracking and find the Steve Steel test giver who is supposed to be here. Welcome to Marriott, kids. I'm Ma Cunningham. We're all family here. Before we sell here, people had a devil of a time crossing the river. I don't know why I felt the need to, uh, to VA that character, but yeah, whatever. There's a shop of some kind. Thank you, 
Kylie for coming to my store. How can I help y'all today? Wrath ring. I mean, I kind of want to buy that, but also that's really expensive. They're all broken. I'll come back now, I hear? Yeah, I also, um, I also don't have, uh, any MSI hardware. Um. Actually, if y'all look in the About section of my channel, you can see exactly what hardware I'm running. I have a, a widget that shows everything, but, uh, most of the stuff is uh, Asus centric, which I heard that this Galvin fella is looking for all Vina. That's why he's having Zenobia steal all the girls that sing good. Alex, it sound, that actually sounded logical. But if that's Galvin's plan. And the, these guys sure have a draw to them. Girls that sing real pretty. I've been singing and singing. I need a, I need a rest. Come back later. Goodness. You're a newbie from the Thieves Guild? I don't get it. I'm just a drunk person. I mean, he doesn't exactly fit in with the rest of town. I'm just a kid and doesn't know what it means. Billy Cunningham. Why does this guy... Why does this person get a last name? Like, in our entire party, there is one per... Two people who have last names. There is Jessica de Alkirk and there is Lemia Alsa. Or there is Mia Alsa. You speak American. My name's Billy West. Billy West? <laughs> That's a dumb name. I'm not sure which building we're supposed to be going into here. But this at least looks like a shop that probably sells equipment. Alright, so most of this stuff is for Alex. We yeah, got one piece for Nash and uh, one piece each for the girls. Uh, steel shield, steel helmet. And there was one piece for you. There it is. And. Ah, here we go. Actually remembered which uh, which uh, characters actually had upgrades there. Your name's Cunningham too, huh? Don't have no proof. And uh, no, that's not happening, sir. Rob the in-game shops. Thank you for the for the 50 more bits. That's 
350 so far, man. Ma masterclass in uh, in thievery here. Uh, let's see. I need to walk up the steps. Oh, here we go. Hey, what were those strange sounds just now? The creak and the crack? I think the bridge just moved. I'm feeling a little scared now. Maybe we should turn back. Ah! Jessica! This doesn't look good. We'd better help. Oh no. It's gonna fall. Ah! And now we're all wet. Alex, are you alright? Well, except for except for Nal, who does get out of this unscathed. My goodness, I, I swear this chair is getting worse and worse. You're all sopping wet. It's not your lucky day today, is it? I wonder if everyone's okay. Hey, that looks like Mia over there. Huh? Someone's hitting on her, Alex. You better get over there and help before some jerk tries to take advantage of her. Oh dear. Sir. I say, sir. Hey there, sweet thing. You sure are a pretty girl. How about we go out some time real soon? <laughs> There aren't, there aren't any pretty girls here. I should know. I'm related to most of them. This this game's humor sure is a thing. Well, uh, you see, I... A Alex, perfect timing. This gentleman has invited us for tea. Let's make sure to show him our appreciation by letting him foot the bill for everyone. How dare he try to hit on you, Mia? Come well, on, let's beat him up, okay, Alex? Please don't know. I don't think he really knows any better. Well, it's your call then. Let's go, Mia. Come on, let's just let's go look for Jessica and the others, Alex. Hey, baby. What are you do what are you hanging out with our them our losers? I reckon you should dump them. We can make beautiful music together if you wanna. Uh, I'm, I'm... Can't you see you're bothering me, uh, yeah, scat? Let's beat him up after all. Uh, so let's see. This the house? Nope. I just, I didn't try to fix up, fix up this here place, but we're still doing piss poor business. What's wrong? I mean, if you're standing in front of the door like that, um, nobody's going to be able to get in. See a red and gold hero tax? Yeah, we can't open that chest yet. Kyle, you dove into the river to, sa to save me, knowing full well you couldn't swim. Why do you always have something to prove, when if you drown it won't amount to anything? Why don't you ever think about the consequences of your actions? Come on, Kyle, please open your eyes. Kyle? Alright! Someone better tell, tell me right now who's making Jessica cry, because I'm going to kick their face in. K Kyle! Huh? Oh, hey, Jess. Oh, hi, Mark. You been crying or something? 
The heck I was? That's right. What was I thinking? Guess I must have been seeing a dream from my childhood. <laughs> what do you mean dream, you overgrown buffoon? Hey, that hurts. Why you gotta be like that, Jess? I'm the daughter of Master Mel is why. Not to mention my mother delivered me in the waters of Morabia's ocean. Didn't you ever think about the fact that I can eat, that I can even ask sort of fish? Yet you're still running around with something to prove. Alright, alright. I get it, Jess. Just stop giving me the beat down with that fist of yours already. You're seriously the biggest dummy to ever walk this planet. What are you calling a dummy, a friggin' shrew? <laughs> God damn! I should have left you to the sharks. One taste that you would have given them, given them the runs anyway. What did you just say? You heard me the first time. Jessica and Kyle really compliment each other, don't they? What? Those two? Mia, I'm not sure what to make of either of them. I guess all we have left to, uh, to find is Nash. Let's go. You seriously make me sick to my stomach, Jess. Let's get moving and find this dude from Thieves Guild, Alex Prado. So that certainly was an interaction that just happened. I mean, is it romantic when she can definitely swim and you definitely cannot? Ma'am, I do not recommend this course of action. A dang fool mirror. Uh, I think the sooner we're out of here, the better. Anyway, this door is open now. How many, how many times have I told you before? I've already talked things over with the guild chief. Hurry up and give us, give us the Thieves' Crest or whatever the heck you call it. How many times have I told you before? It doesn't matter what the game is. The test is all about being able to beat us at something. You really don't get it, do you? Why should I be forced to do something stupid like that? Well, obviously, it's because I'm the inspector for the Thieves' Guild this week, and... Because I don't like the tone of your voice, boy. How do you like that? Doesn't that idiot realize he's dealing with a member of the Thieves' Guild? They're all quite the awkward bunch. <laughs> Bet Nash is having the hardest time dealing with them. Let's go have ourselves a good laugh. Hey Alex, it seems as though this guy is the inspector for, from the Thieves' Guild. But he's like talking to a brick wall. The only one talking who- the only one here who's like a brick wall is you. The guild's entrance exam is clear-cut. Like I said a gazillion times before, it doesn't matter about the content of the game. All that matters is that you get me to say these two simple words, I lost. How easy is that? Oh, really? <laughs> I think the great Kyle will, ju will just take you up on that offer. Then let the games begin. I'm not about, to, I'm not about ready to lose to a young blowhard like yourself. Uh, I lost. Ugh, I hit my limit. Can't drink another drop. <laughs> so what do you think about that? Great Kyle's never lost the drinking game. Ever. <laughs> That's definitely not something worth bragging about. <laughs> You're so right, you know. Give him a damn thieves' crust or whatever they call it. 
I apologize, buddy, I really do, but the real test is to retrieve the treasure from Damon's spire, which lies to the south of Marriott. This just thieves the most valuable thing there is. All you need to do is give it to the guild leader and you pass. <laughs> well, now you're telling me to get some treasure from Damon's spire? At Damon's spire? You mean where Damon, the Keeper of Knowledge, resides? Yep, that's right. You're very well informed, Miss. In order to enter the spire, password will be required, so please take this with you. <laughs> got the old notebook. As long as you've got the old notebook, you should be able to get into the spire. <laughs> Well, alright then. The South is. Our word to Damon's Spire. Alright, now that uh, Kyle is sufficiently drunk, uh, we have our path forward. We need to go to Damon's Spire and um, probably meet with Damon, I guess. Because, you know, he's the one who lives there. Uh, but that is gonna have to wait until after the break. So y'all can take a moment, get some of the drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. And in about 10 to 15 minutes, we shall uh, make our way to Damon Spire and um, see what happens thereafter. So, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 